Hey guys, welcome back to more. Let's play Nina Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I was just hiding behind the tree, and Drippy is just there having some fun. And we gotta use the gateway. See, we don't even have to go to like the town plaza. We can just do it anywhere. I don't know. I guess we're a more a more skilled uh, a wizard, so we can do it anywhere. I don't know. But it just so happens to put us in Ding Dong Dell. But that might be because that's where we cast it last time. Because usually I think it puts you in the overworld. If you cast it. I don't know. But anyways, I'm, ki I'm kind of wondering. I thought about this. Um, how I wait the five seconds before I start saying anything. Because there's like a delay on my capture card or something. So I'm wondering if sometimes that delay will, like, not happen, and there'll just be five seconds of silence at the beginning of a video. That'd be kind of weird. Right? I don't know. Hmm. Hey, everybody, I think you just should keep time to the way. It's coming down from Ding Dong Well. Uh, Ding Dong Well? Yeah, I can come from the other side of the gate. Yeah, it was definitely King Tom, I'm sure of it. Ding Dong Well, eh? Uh, you said there was much living down by there, eh? And it. Jeez, I... I don't say and it when it's there, and I say it when it's not there. Jeez. Yeah, it's played two lines. That's why I'm standing here, keeping guard, even though the door is closed. Medicine cats really don't get along, you see? It's like cats and dogs. Ah, Nickers, I know what's happened. Ah, King Tom's been kidnapped by the mice. Kidnapped? That's right, you see how Tommy wasn't... wasn't after those mice in your world? How... Timmy, you see how Timmy went over the mites in your world? Uh, well, in this world right here, uh, the tables have turned. No, uh, it's the only explanation, man. Crikey, it's a good job. It's a good job that I'm here to get you two together, to put two and two together for you, and it gets you stupid, maybe. No, uh, well, if King Tom's been kidnapped, we need to rescue him. Are you gonna go down to the well over? Then I'm gonna come with you. Don't be deaf, come on, this is a job for the professional, is it? No, not some underage vigilante with a saucepan for a helmet. Hold it, Yuki, I have my friend with me. Whoa, man, that was a pretty cool whistle. How'd you do that? It's a monkey! Look at that, a flippin' familiar! Well, I never. Uh, they follow me on home and I went to play the whiz. And he's really strong. If he's with me, I'll be fine. You don't quite did it, do you, Sunshine? Yeah. Fighting with familiar is just flipping hard. You said you had to think what you wanted them to do and they'll do it. I don't know. Yeah, but a person can't just jump into the fray and stutter them around. You need to be... Oh, okay. Okay, that actually makes sense. Okay, and then, Oliver, you can have my familiar. What do you think, Tommy? Thank you very much. Oh boy, I get to name the familiar. Oh. Since I really am not feeling very original, I'm just gonna name him what I named him the last time, which it was supposed to be um, Ukiki, which is the name of the monkey in Yoshi's Island. I I hope I spelled that right. Well, we better head on down there, huh? Indeed, we had Ollie boy. Leave it up there, stomach, my lad. All right, be careful, Oliver. And that wasn't his voice. Looks like you can get the. Looks like you can get that familiar of yours to psych up. What does that mean? Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, psych up. All right. This is an interesting little concept here. Right? You can use psych up to up your attack, and then you can use familiars. And then you, after you use Psych Up, you can use uh, Go Wild to do like a flurry of strong attacks. Or just a big strong attack, I don't know. Um, but it gets better. Um, this new technique of yours will make it easier to cancel enemies' actions. And uh, canceling enemies' actions is, uh, I think, 
when you and the enemy attack at the same time and no one really does anything. Uh, when you go wild. Oh, it just, it's just saying that uh, you can't. Uh, what does that second red word say? Only thing is, familiars that can psych up can't. Something. Oh, defend for toffee. Uh, just then in their nature. Alright. Jeez. Th I probably made that more complicated than it needed to be. I like this little area down here. This little, uh, like, area thing. Like, oh. What the heck? Did I break the controller? Like, I pressed L3 to go into first person view. You can do that, by the way. And I like this area. It's just like in this little alcove. But you might have heard my controller, like, pop there when I pressed it down, so I'm kind of scared if I broke it. But anyways, uh, this lock is broken. Actually, no, it's here. Uh, but we just gotta use our newfound spring lock. And it'll be great. Hey, it's open. Now we can go find the king. That we can. In we go, honey boy. Oh yeah, you can use that spell to open locked chest, by the way. If you find any blue chests lying around, you can use spring lock to open them. Yeah, uh, there was a blue chest in, uh, deep dark wood that we can open. But I'm actually gonna go get that one later, because, uh, we're gonna go back and vi visit, uh, where Pussycat once fell. It's like that one nursery rhyme. Hee <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, crikey, it's damp. Uh, damp as anything down by here. My head don't get all moldy if I don't watch out. They would really get moldy. Uh, oh, uh, V five four four. I can smell the I can smell the blood of a bucket. Load of proper feisty beasties. Careful, Ollie boy. Uh, you have to watch your. You have to watch yourself from here on in, man. Uh, things could get ugly. All right. Great. Um. He's just saying that battles would be easier with two familiars instead of one. Okay. You're not gonna teach me how to do this, are you? Because that's kind of silly. I'm gonna throw out the might again. Uh. Oh, he's just saying how to switch familiars. Uh, you can press L1 to uh, switch to either a different familiar or back to Oliver. But you already knew that because I told you earlier. I'm pretty sure. Ow! Yeah, I killed the rabbit guy. Some of these, uh, monsters down here are kind of dangerous. Ooh, I killed them with a knife. I think that meant a critical, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but I'll show you here, uh, it shows you that, uh, even if you don't participate in battle, everyone gets, uh, experience from it, unlike, uh, a Pokemon. It's kind of like in, a uh, Chrono Trigger. Where, um, the members of your party who don't, are, who aren't in the battle get experience, but they only get, like, half the experience. No, here everyone gets all the experience. Like, uh, we got 10 experience from that battle, everyone gets 10 experience from that battle. Um, so yeah, it's, that's pretty nice. Um, that's the wrong button. Uh, can I equip you with anything? I can give you a mist robe, apparently. I thought I was gonna leave that with someone else, but whatever works, I'll give it to him later, I guess. Oh, you know what? Also, I get that's the wrong button! I might as well feed some of my guys. Well, I guess I'll feed this guy. Uh, he likes, uh, ice cream, which gives him evasion. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this guy's favorite food is ice cream, the mite's favorite food is, uh, chocolate. By the way, I guess if you couldn't tell. So that's interesting. Oh, hi battle. Oh, hey, oh, that Naha right there, that's a, that's a new enemy, so I don't have to cut this battle out, if I care about that. Uh, but Naha's, uh, the snake guy, those are fantastic, uh, familiars. 
they're really good enemies because they attack ridiculously fast. Uh, so later on, you might want to come back here uh, for the for that enemy. Ooh, a flan. I think that's like magic attack or magic defense or something like that. But anyways, uh, enough about that. I might start cutting battles out. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Get the glim. I miss the glim. Oh boy! Oh, 11 gold. That was nice. Wait, what? Dude, I know there's supposed to be like a chest over here. Where is it? Maybe not? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, this area is kind of like a maze. Uh, as you may or may not be able to tell from the structure and from the map. Oh, this is another dungeon, by the way. It's not like left and right, it's more like vertical. Cause like, it doesn't expand wide, but it has a it has a big length, but not a big width. Like, it's longer rather than thicker, I guess. And I know that I probably shouldn't have said that, but I SAID IT ANYWAYS! So take that. Hooray, get the Glen! I got it. We did it! You know, I'm starting to think that not only should I think before I say something, um, I should also stop talking when I go into a battle because usually I cut at a certain point. Oh, here's the chest. Back here. Oh, there's not an enemy? Thought there was. Ooh, a bottle of iced coffee. I think that's better than regular coffee, or that might be the level 1 coffee. I don't remember. I'm gonna just feed this guy, because I got another thing of ice cream. A minute ago. And also, uh... These guys, uh... Did, um, earlier I fed him, like, two minutes ago. Yeah, he was already ready to be fed. Even though I only fed him, like, three things. He was already ready to be- he had a full emptiness meter, so that's kind of crazy. On. I got him! Get the glim! We won. Man, I might not even need to cut that out because it's so ridiculously short! T -t you know what, this might be a 20 minute video. And especially because I'm cutting out all these battles. Um, play a first strike. Um, anyways, um, a minute ago, I had to, I have to remember what I was talking about. Uh, but a minute ago, I was talking about how, um, I'm probably gonna make this a 20 minute episode without edits. But with edits, um, it might become, like, a 17 minute episode or something, because in these last videos where I've cut out battles, um, I'm only cut off, like, a minute. But here, since there are so many battles, I might cut off you know, a, a few go. minutes, which is nice. Get the glim. Oh, there wasn't a glim there, and I thought there was. I'm so silly. She's. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like it might. It might be stupid to cut these out because you're not really saving much time. But you know. Anything to save a little bit of time in a big game like this, you know? Whatever works. No, I'm poisoned! No, I'm, I'm poisoned! No! I don't remember if that, if status, status effects wear off outside of battle. I don't remember because, like, Pokemon. At least in the, the first few games, status effects affected you on the field, like poison. When Fire Red, it did. Alright, so in that battle, I was not poisoned, so status effects do wear off. Uh, after the battle, I guess. Um, but anyways, like I was gonna say, but I got rudely interrupted. There is a chest over here, nice. So I did come all this way for something. I guess that's a red chest. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Kinda thought it was a blue chest. Please don't respawn, you stupid enemies. 
because I want to get through this with talking. Or not. I got the glam! Anyways, like I was saying, or like I was going to say, but I never did say, um, even though it feels kind of silly to cut out battles now because they're so short, later on the battles will, be, will become longer, so there will be a reason to cut battles out. So, I'm just doing it now out of habit, I guess. Come on. Yeah, get the glen. I got it. Ugh. Man, I'm getting kind of close to like 20 minutes here. I'm almost at 18 minutes without cutting out any battles. So, I need to find some shrubbery to hide behind. Thankfully, that why did you turn around, Oliver? Thankfully, I think this is uh, the second part of the dungeon, and uh, this second part has more shrubbery, because like hiding behind uh, like this tiny blade of grass is going to be kind of tough, you know? <laughs> So I can't really do that. But anyways, um, you want to uh, use fire to light the torches. And it's on this uh, second page here. Uh, you just press um, R1 to go to the different page. And, uh, you know, simple as that. You also kind of want to light these kind of quick. Because they, they kind of uh, run out. Like, because it's all moldy down here. It's kind of damp. So the fires don't last as long. The fires will run out. If you don't do it quick enough. Thankfully I did it quick enough though. Wait, was there actually shrubbery on the wall before or is it just here now? That works. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So guys, next time on more Let's Play uh, Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, we're gonna go farther into Ding Dong Dell and maybe even find King Tom. It'll be fantastic. I assure you, I gotta hide dripping more. That's the wrong way. Well, now Oliver's not. That didn't work. Okay, that that works enough. I don't know. Uh, anyway, next time we're gonna find King Tom in this dungeon and maybe even fight a boss or something. It'll be cool. See you then. Bye.